Okay, why don't we go ahead and take a look at how to do the programming of the DS64 for the double crossover while we're here. So same idea. I'm going to go back to the accessories module. Here's the original four accessories that we created for the other DS64. So now I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to choose settings. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to add a new accessory. Pick where I want it. I'm going to choose right here. And I'm going to go pick one, a left turnout right here. And I'm going to, for the purpose of our example here, we'll do address 50. Again, choose whatever you want, doesn't matter. This is just the name. I usually like to put the what address I'm using just so I can see it. The actual address is right here. I'm going to change that to 50. And then I guess we could call this double crossover. Let's call it double for now. And we've got the left turnout, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I've got that right there. And then what's good is to um, go ahead and rotate this. Actually, I'm going to put the second one in first. So this is uh, the second part of building a double cross out over. Also call it double. Um, again, my address is going to be 50. That's just the name of it. Address. Now remember, even though we're creating a new accessory, it's still address 50 because the entire double crossover is going to be at one input-output location for the DS64, and it's all through address 50. So basically, we're using the ECOS to build a model of what the double crossover looks like. So when we choose it, it will throw it either in straight mode or crossover mode. So again, address 50. This time I'm going to choose the right turnout. Hit OK. So now you see we've got two double crossover or two turnouts that look like double crossover and it's programmed or we want to program it to address 50. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to rotate these guys. It's this little button right here. All that does is just, again, we're making a model so it looks like a double crossover. So I went ahead and did that. And now we're ready to program. So let's hop out of the settings mode. We've got our new accessory here, number 50, double crossover. Now we're going to go to the DS64 and we're going to press and hold down the ID button for three seconds. Again, you need to make sure you're you have power to the track so your go needs to be greened up so the ds64 now switched from the heartbeat mode to the slow blink so we're going to tell it which address to program the first input so i have the double crossover wired to input number one on the ds64 so i'm going to send it a signal you can pick either one of these it doesn't matter they're both program to address 50 so they both moved as you can see so that sent the signal to the DS64 now it's waiting for my second input my second turnout or whatever accessory I've attached to it so I'm just gonna pick one of our other ones that is already hooked to it I'm gonna call it this one is address 40 now it's looking for my third input again it's flashing faster meaning it received number two looking for number three and now I'm going to do the final one. It's flashing really quickly. It means it wants the last one. Pick this one. Okay, it's been programmed. The DS64 is now back to heartbeat mode, so it's received everything. Now we go ahead and recycle power. So stop. And then go. Now if you go back in here and hit this, you'll hear it. It's been programmed to the the DS64 and when I hit this it flips over the double crossover 
really cool, real easy. Again, the other ones I, I did are right here. It's a number six turnout. That's num another number six. I only have three hooked up, so that's why there's only three of them here. The other one's a dummy, but it's that simple. Now, the next thing, go back to your control board, which is this button up here. This is where I showed you before where you can actually create your layout on the screen, which is really, really neat. And now you can add a double crossover to this, and here's how you do it. Go down here to settings. This button right here is add an accessory. I'm going to pick that. For this example, I'm just going to build it right in this little area. Pick the area where you want to put it. Call it that one there. It brings up all our list of accessories. I'm going to choose the one I just made. It's, uh, we called it double, if you recall. Address 50. That looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that. It's already highlighted. It went ahead and threw it in there, which is great. Now what I do is pick the same accessory. I'm going to add, it, add another one right next to it. Again, all these things are doing is basically creating a graphical model of what it looks like. They're all programmed to address 50, so whenever I pick it, it will switch the double crossover and make it activate. So this time I'm going to pick the, I guess the first one was a right turnout. Now I'm going to pick the one that we chose as a left turnout. That's this one. Hit OK. You'll notice that popped in right there. Now I'm just going to rotate these things around so they look like I'd like it to look. So I pick that and you see it rotate around. So now we've got kind of half of what the double crossover would look like. So now I'm going to continue to add them. Back to add accessory. Pick this point here. Pick the accessory. Went ahead and popped another one in. Perfect. Here's my last one. This is the right turnout, this one. Again, address 50, same deal. It popped it in there. I'm going to rotate that because I want it to look accurate. Pick the rotate button. Pick it. Rotate it around. Now I have a nice representation of what the double crossover looks like. Now I can exit the settings mode right here. Now I'm back to the main control board. And if you notice, when I pick this, you'll hear it in the background, it'll switch. So right now, the yellow indicates it's going in the straight direction. If I click it, you heard it. Now it flipped over and it's in the crossover mode. Flip it back, straight. So really, really cool. Now this one up here, I, I built this prior to filming this video, but that's also programmed to address 50 using the same accessories that we just built. So that's why you see that moving around. Um, and this is an example of an older layout I had, but any of these turnouts are ones that I've created that you can add to your map. And when you click them, they will move on your plan or on your uh, layout. So really simple, really neat. Um, I mean, this ESU command station blows out anything I've seen. And I, I am a beginner, but uh, it's really easy to put this together and it's a great system. So hope you've learned something and good luck to you.